Hello people of the internet web. Today's video is an adventure I had in 2012 with the ASW-19 uh, flying in bad weather developing into a thunderstorm. The video also goes with a wink to Pure Glide. Yes, your t-shirt has arrived. Thanks mate. I love your tricks. So let's get into the uh, video here. I put on my parachute, get ready to climb into the cockpit and then I take off. Unfortunately the GoPro was set to uh, the wrong form factor which leaves a black bar on the right side in which I insert the XSOAR playback. Alveco 74, bereit zum Startresort hier. Looking at straight, you actually see that the weather is not that great. Some threatening clouds, you know, hanging above us. Now in this video I will just give uh, some comments to make clear what's going on and after I landed I will then do some uh, lessons learned and uh, analysis of what I was thinking and what perhaps I should have done. Next, my friend Felix calls me on the radio. Ronald Felix on the radio. Felix Ronald, ik ben graag aan slep. Ik ben aan mijn grenzen op 850. Ik werd ze nog proberen, maar richting Walerstad zit Zwartoes. Dat is zichtelijk gewitteld. Ja, goed dat we morgen dus alles in wind door de regen vloggen. Is the place not trocken? Yes, it's trocken, but I don't know how long it's trocken, when you can see it. So as you can guess, we, uh, we knew the weather was, was bad, and when you look outside the cockpit, you see that there's a huge overcast, and the thermals still work. Now this typically is an indication that uh, the air is very uh, unstable, uh, indicating you know a weather change and likely thunderstorms. So here are thermal to 2,130 meters, and uh, that's the cloud base. You see these you know dark pieces of water hanging from the sky. At this moment, my son Alex, flying in the B4 HB 1116, has decided to go on land, which was probably a wise decision. What are we doing? It's a campo, but better slecht. It's going to trouble when it gets too high. How long is it going to be? We have to wait for it. So Felix is also planning to land as it's turning bad. Ik ben 800 am route speed zum Flug richting Campo. The valley I fly at has no direct radio contact to the airfield. So my son was relaying from the instructor, asking where I am, because they're worried. And here I hear the first thunder in the radio, indicating that the thunderstorm is getting near. Okay, I'm going to land. The instructor flying the ASK-21 uh, now tells me that I need to land as uh, he has decided that the weather is changing 
for the worse, much too rapidly for his taste. And in, in hindsight, I just look at this scene and I say, you know, what am I doing? Why don't I land sooner? Um, what I decided at that point is just I go very fast. Another lightning. I go very fast, so I fly, you know, 200 kilometers an hour to uh, kind of burn away the altitude. But for some reason, I did not want to deploy the air brakes to get down even faster. And I'm still at, you know, 1900 meters, so this takes some time. Uh, the thunderstorm you see it on the, on the right side ahead of me and it's getting really dark so bad idea to go and fly in that direction so again I uh, just fly around at 200 kilometers an hour to uh, get rid of my altitude still not using the air brakes for whatever reason. Structure was getting impatient with me, uh, correctly so, and basically tells me you have to land now. So finally, I deploy the air brakes. So I just entered the uh, circuit downwind, runway 01. Turning into final, and what you see ahead is that it's already raining at that, uh, you know, just a few kilometers beyond the, the runway. And in hindsight, I must say that I'm very lucky that the wind was still okay. There were no gusts of uh, high speed. It was a steady wind. Uh, I did ask in the radio what the wind conditions were before landing, but. Uh, in hindsight, things could have gotten a lot worse. But, you know, as they say in flying, you have to make sure that your bucket of experience fills up before your bucket of luck runs empty. As mentioned in the other video, gliding is a team effort. So yes, one pilot flies, but there's an entire team of people helping. And so the team here is very happy that I landed, and they are making very sure that the glider gets to the hangar as quickly as possible. So they don't even let me have time to get out of the glider and start pushing me around. So 
I have to get out of the glider going backwards. So we push the glider to the hangar and now there's a general frenzy going on where people are just trying to move the planes into the hangar, into the trailers as quickly as possible because we know the rain is imminent. And in my hurry I actually completely forget about the camera and I leave it running which actually is kind of nice because it then shows how quickly things actually happen. On the left you see this loop hanging from the ceiling. This glider is actually uh, parked in a hangar, not on the ground, but uh, hung to the ceiling. And uh, so it's a, it's a little bit different procedure of getting the glider into the hangar. You have to make sure that you have space and everything works. And you actually see the, uh, the process of doing this. Uh, you see right in front of me also the Ramos. People are waiting to get by the Antares, which is being disassembled into the trailer. They're waiting to pass it and they will immediately, the moment the ASW is hung to the ceiling, put the Ramos into the hangar as well. Amazingly enough, it's still not raining. Here we put the loop around the fuselage. Then I take my last personal items out of the glider just before it goes to the ceiling. And then the glider goes up. Here the Antares wing is being put into the trailer. The ASW is moving up. And immediately see the people pushing the Ramos also into the hangar. The amazing thing is that the moment that Ramos is in the hangar, it actually starts to rain. So we managed to get all the club gliders and planes into the hangar just in time with only a margin of seconds. And in a moment you actually hear the rain hitting the roof of the hangar.
then it starts to rain pretty hard. This is a picture I took from the hangar door uh, just after we closed the big doors where you see uh, it is really a monsoon out there. But, you know, we packed everything up just in time. So what are the lessons learned? Um, when this happened in 2012, I had just gotten my uh, license again in Switzerland. So I started to learn fly gliders in the Netherlands, flatlands, you know, no hills whatsoever, completely flat. Um, when I was 14, I moved to Switzerland. I didn't fly for 24 years and I re-engaged and I got my license again. I have no experience in the Alps really at this point in time, uh, perhaps only you know, 10 or 20 hours. And um, I had no appreciation of how quickly thunderstorms actually can develop in the Alps. Of course, in flatlands, you can see weather develop from far and you can have a good uh, estimation of how quickly things happen and develop but in the Alps you can see into the next valley really and things can go bad really quickly um, in hindsight when I see the weather that I was flying it at this point in time I would not even go up right I would say you know, this weather is, is simply not worth it the risks are too high and I was very, very fortunate that uh, there were two instructors on the ground and in the air partially that made sure that they called me down when they realized that things were getting really bad. And the reality is that uh, less than 10 minutes after my touchdown, the hard rain actually started. And that was uh, about 20 minutes after they first told me that I should come and land and as you saw that you know they had to tell me twice to really make sure that I uh, get down quickly the most impressive thing was that uh, the area where I had been flying uh, 20 minutes before the rain started when watching that area from the ground it looked like a huge washing machine uh, you know like 500 by 500 meter washing machine where clouds and air was moving like you see that through the window of your washer man was i glad that i was down on planet earth with this the video ends i hope to see you soon and have a nice day